Hi, my name is Ted Patrick. I'm a technical evangelist here at Adobe, and I wanted to show you some of the progress we've made on Android and bringing Flash Player to uh, smartphone devices. So I have a Nexus One, um, and this has Flash Player 10.1 installed on it. And as you can see, I'm actually navigating a, a game site. Uh, this is Congregate, and it's a mobile optimized site uh, with a simple Flash menu to allow me to navigate. So I navigate to the page, and you can see the game uh, is actually on the page. Um, all I have to do to go full screen is uh, tap on the Flash content. So I'll select New Game, Continue. So it's, it's just a simple touch game uh, to allow you to align these potions and uh, provide simple gameplay. So let's actually go back. I'll take a look at another game. Uh, this time we're going to look at a game called Pinch Hitter. And again, simply tap on the uh, Flash content to go full screen. And this content is optimized to play uh, horizontal uh, or in landscape mode on the phone. Uh, so I'll press play and wait for the pitch. Uh -oh. Next, we're going to take a look at video and the BBC. So as you can see, this is video playing on the BBC site. Uh, no difference than what a regular web browser would present. And if I simply just tap into the video, it will actually size to screen. Um, and that actually allows me to use the, the video controls. Uh, and I can simply press pause. And the controls and all the navigation work exactly the way that this Flash content was originally purposed. And this content runs identically uh, on both standard web browser and on smartphone. So identical experience. Let's navigate to some other video. I happen to like The Office, so let's go to tbs.com. The TBS site loads perfectly, identically to what I would see uh, in the full browsing experience. All Flash elements, including advertising, load as normal. Um, I can zoom in, um, and so Office playing as normal on the phone. And uh, just the simple navigation to be able to tap into a video element and have it play full screen provides a really optimized video experience uh, on the device. Uh, the last one I'm going to show you is Google Finance. Uh, Google Finance uses Flash to augment the HTML experience. So take a careful look at the interactions between uh, the Flash elements and the HTML. So I've navigated here to uh, Google Finance. I simply tap on the Flash element to activate it. Uh, once activated, my touch points uh, work perfectly with, with the content. And when I'm done, you can see the HTML content powered by JavaScript actually reacts to my touch event and syncs independently. And this is an example of Flash and HTML content working together on the same page. If you have an Android 2.2 device, and you want to take a look at some of the site and content that I've shown you today, uh, head on over to the Android market and download Flash Player 10.1 for your device. If you're a developer and you'd like to learn more about how to build optimized content and create rich experiences on, this, on these types of smartphones, head over to Adobe Labs.